If you're saving milkweed seeds this season for the monarchs, I am so in love with you and thank you so much. And I'm so honored to share this quick little tip that will change your life. It certainly changed ours when Kim Delaney of Hawthorne Organic Seeds shared this with us. So first things first, you wanna wait for the pods to turn from green to gold brown. You also wanna wait for a beautiful dry day and this grain pod, I'll show what will happen in a minute. But basically, once it turns gold, you rub it between your hands. Catch it before it opens. And that is the crucial thing. Catch it before it opens. And I'm rubbing it in between my hands with quite a bit of force, um, but I'm not like, Ugh, but I'm, I'm pretty persistent in my pressure as well. So from here, I simply take <laughs> the fluff. Anything that hasn't is still sticking on there, I don't want them because <laughs> they weren't mature enough to let go with all that pressure. That means they're not going to be germinating quickly and viable. So all of the ones that did release, however, are now in my hand, completely clean, clear of all that fluff, and voila. So I'll tuck that into my little container. And so check out what happens if they're a little on the green side. This one has starting to turn a tiny bit. Let's see what happens. So again, just tucking it between my hands and giving it some significant pressure to release the seeds from the fluff. And let's see. Ooh, a few came out, but most of them didn't. And I'll open it up. They're still totally attached. So yes, even with all of that pressure, it's simply, oh, I just love all of the seeds, how they're arranged on there. It's like a koi fish or something so lovely. So yes, all of these seeds, they look dark. They look a little, they're beginning to get dense, but they're just not ripe, mature, ready friends. And so yes, you could save these, but likely the germination will be very poor, if any at all. And so it's really important to save all of those green pods till they're nice golden brown on a beautiful, warm, dry day, or at least a dry day. I know we're getting into late October, so we'll take the, we'll take the warmth <laughs> in the relativity that it comes. But yes, thank you for saving seeds, friends. Now, when I take these seeds, I'm going to be putting them into the freezer for the winter because think of, I mean, yes, we can freeze other domestic, domesticated seeds like lettuce and kale, but these things have been domesticated for thousands of years. They've been used to humans kind of meddling with their reproductive cycles, in other words, <laughs> for thousands of years. Milkweed, on the other hand, is not domesticated. She is wonderfully wild, one of the many reasons we love her. And so we need to be treating her as she would be treated in her environment, in her native natural environment. And so if you imagine what these seeds are going to be experiencing, were I to just drop them on the ground, they would be experiencing freeze thaw, freeze thaw. They would definitely be in under the snow in frozen ground for months to come. And so we'll clean up these seeds any a little bit further. We'll tuck them into plastic bags with desiccant packets. We have them on our website, PS by the way. And once we put them then in a plastic bag that can be sealed with the desiccant packet. We'll seal it for three days just so that desiccant packet can wick away any excess moisture. And then we'll tuck them in the freezer, well labeled, until February. That way, that will, they'll have at least three, if not four months, to completely be vernalizing, to be vernal, the vernal season is the winter season. They'll be going through that enzymatic period of just intense coldness. And after that, the germination rate will be much, much higher, and then we can sow them with much greater confidence. Now, milkweed in general, because she's more wild, she's less consistent to germinate than, say, kale. She's less quick to germinate, and her germination can be more erratic. But don't be daunted. We do germination testing on all of our seeds, and our milkweed included, to make sure that what goes into our packets is exceptionally high germination rates. And I am so honored to share them with you, friends. Certainly, we'd love to share with you the seeds that we save of milkweed and of a thousand other things on our farm. But I'm so excited to have shared this tip with you so you can go and save your own milkweed seeds as well. I hope that you share them with other people you love and thank you 
for being part of the solution of bringing joy and connection and revitalization to our species, to our planet, and certainly to my heart.